there. Here's another Illustrator tutorial. Um, this time I'm gonna show you how to fake line weight if you don't own a tablet like the Intuos 3 that I normally use. Uh, so let's get started. I've imported a sketch, um, made a new layer on top of that, as you can see. So the top layer I'm gonna use for the actual inking. Now what you want to do is uh, go to the pen tool, hit P, um, and then choose black for your lines. Make sure that the filling is none. Let's zoom in here and just start tracing. So here we go. And that's the first line. Now what I like to do is um, make some separate lines, so don't close all your paths in order to keep uh, well, make it look like it's hand drawn a bit more. Later on I'll explain why, but uh, it has to do with uh, overlapping lines and stuff like that. So, you just start tracing. The advantage is that if you don't trace a line that good, you can just delete the line and do it over instead of taking the old brush and paper and... Though I like that. <laughs> Maybe even more, but it might kind of work clients like to change things afterwards it's much more easier to do it this way again normally I use uh, a tablet a Wacom Intuos 3 but I'll just try to explain to you um, how you can fake it so let's continue Again, I don't like to make uh, too much closed paths in order to keep it uh, look a bit more uh, like a hand-drawn illustration. I'm just going to do the head here. I know I imported the whole sketch, but this is just a tutorial. If we get around to it, I might even explain how I do the coloring afterwards. But We'll see. I don't want to um, actually make a tutorial that's too long. So I'll try to keep this around 10 minutes or so. As you can see, I don't ink the eyes. I just use the circle tool. So, here's the inking. Uh, let's see, did I forget something? Oh, yep, the ear, the inner ear. Almost done. What I did just there was uh, hit X on the keyboard to change the feeling into the line. So there we have it. That's it. Well, it looks... Uh, <laughs> very static right now. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually. Whoa. I'm gonna show you how to actually fake the line weight. That's what you're here for, right? So hit Shift W on your keyboard, and then you get this little tool. I don't know the name in English because obviously I'm using a Dutch version. Um, and then just hover over your lines. And it's going to make some points that you can drag. So just click and drag and to vary the line weight. Now, what I like to do is um, just take the middle of the line and drag. So you can make strokes that are um, well thicker in the middle. And, well, just like a 
brush stroke actually. So what I'd like to do is first just create some simple strokes and then afterwards to make it look like it's more hand drawn instead of fake I uh, go over the whole illustration and well just keep adjusting until you like the look of it. So here we go. Now the reason why I um, made a couple of um, lines separate, separate lines like this one here and this one here and well uh, this one here is to make some overlapping lines so it looks like you actually used a brush and well, when you use a brush you don't make one stroke uh, if you know what I mean let me just finish this here and then I'll talk to you some more As you can see, it still looks a bit uh, static, a bit clean, a bit cold, but we'll get to that. Really, it's just a matter of trial and error. Just try to fake it and try to make it look more realistic so as you can see um, the end of the line here is um, was <laughs> the end of the line was uh, well just a sharp edge so I went to the line palette and made the end of the line round it as you can see it leaves a little blob like you just dipped your brush in the ink I'll leave it like that because it looks well, good enough for this tutorial. Anyways, so now, and as you can see here, I don't think the lines are sharp enough, the, the, the edges, so I just drag them a little bit more. And you can keep on adding points and deleting them if you don't like it. I'll just keep adding points to vary the line weight a bit more. Over here the edge is too sharp, so I'll make a rounded edge in the line tool. Hit C to cut the line, and as you can see the line changes because... Um, let me zoom out here a bit. I'll make a cut, and then both the lines that remain... So the profile of the line will remain the same. Again, I um, don't like uh, the lines to be too long because you never make one continuous stroke when you are really using a brush. Uh, so I just uh, cut it and drag it a bit off so it looks like you made a brush. So it's like, you know, like, like so well you get the idea so I think that's it um, of course this still looks a bit too uh, harsh and well too digital to my likings but you get the point and um, well just keep varying the line weights and how far are we okay so now I go to object and make shapes out of my lines I don't know what it's called in the English version actually it's but I go to the Pathfinder over here and then I make form so it's one whole object I duplicate the, the layer 
change it to color then I hit alt command 8 on the numeric board and then you'll get the fillings what I like to do is um, make it um, completely magenta because that's a color that um, I never use and it will be easier to delete the remaining lines afterwards so just fill your select and fill your objects nice flashy color here it's too dark and there you have it so now the remaining lines are all magenta so I'll just click one select and then select the same uh, uh, filling and stroke and just hit delete backspace the sketch layer which you can obviously delete afterwards on top of that you got a color layer and lines so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching I hope this was helpful to you and um, I'll try to make another